Now that we've finished our action script animated button, we're going to do what we did before, and we're going to create multiple versions of this button for our different pages. So we're going to click on, well, first we need to unlock the buttons layer. Click on our button, Control C to copy it, Control Shift V to paste in place, and then I'll just nudge it down. And we'll go ahead and create four copies of this. And uh, we'll right click on the second one, click on duplicate symbol, and this will be about button. Right click on the third one, duplicate symbol, products button. Right click on the last one, duplicate symbol, and we'll call this one contact button. Okay, now we need to change the instance name. So this will be contact underscore MC. We'll click on the next one, which is products button. We'll call this products underscore MC. And we'll click on this second button up here, which is the about button. And this will be called about underscore MC. Now we need to go into each one of these, now that they're all different symbols, and change the text. So we'll double click on the second one, which is the about button. We will unlock the text layer, click on the text, and we'll change that to about, or I accidentally hit F1 there. Uh, let's change this to about us, about space us, there we go. Go back to scene one, hit V to switch to the selection tool, double click on the third button, which is products button, unlock the text layer, and then we'll change the text here to products. Go back to scene one, hit V to switch to your selection tool, double click on the last button, which is our contact button, unlock the text layer, go into that text field and change that to contact us. Okay, so now all of the buttons are there, each of them has their own instance name, now we just need to add the code for about us products and contact us. So we'll go to frame one for the actions layer F9 to open up your actions, and again, we've already created the over and out functions, so we don't need to create those over and over again. We just need to create these three lines of code here for each of our buttons. So control C to copy that, skip a couple lines, control V to paste. We'll do that for the about underscore MC. Skip a couple lines, paste again. We'll do this for products. And skip a couple lines again. Control V to paste. And this will be for contact underscore MC. Helps if we spell it right. There we go. Okay, now that's all the code we had to add. Now hopefully, if we hit control enter, each of our buttons will be functioning just fine. And we see that they are. So that about wraps it up for creating action script animation for our buttons, instead of having to deal with the timeline itself. And the big advantage of this is it just gives us a little more flexibility. We don't have to deal with uh, bulky timelines like we did with our other buttons. Plus, we're able to change our animations so that when we move away from a button before that animation is finished, it basically just starts animating from where it was. So that about wraps it up. Let's close that. We'll close our actions window. We'll save this file, save as, as action script button 02.fla. So we'll save that and we'll move on with our next video.